Yeah, guys, we're looking at Neo Stock. We're going to look at the uh, price action for Neo Stock. Going to talk about Neo Stock. Going to look at the um, chart, stock price action chart for Neo Stock now, guys. Just to say, it's not financial advice. Just my opinion only. Um, diamond hands, guys. Diamond hands. We're going to look at the pre-market. The date now is today is the nineteenth of november 2024 it's coming up to 56 minutes past midday 56 minutes past 12 p.m um uk time guys let's look at the chart let's look at the chart and <clears throat> this is the pre-market um as uh, let's have a look what's going on guys i'm just going to check back this is a one hour chart so it's the 19th today um basically here was last night pre-market after trading hours um let's just go back a bit more the stock yesterday as you know rose to 478 pre-market like after hours trading drop down to 460 and in you know after hours trading it's been rising guys so that's the good news and now it's still you know pre-market we call it um so it rose to you know the neo stock rose to 4 86 guys 486 i'm holding neo on this account and another account as you know if you listen to my previous videos so it's just gone above my average on this account which my average is um 482 but i've got a lower average on my other account so combined my average is um I don't know, combined, I haven't worked it out. But just to say that it's heading up. It's heading back up, guys. So it's going to, you know, the news is coming out, obviously, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 20th. You've got, I think it's tomorrow, you've got the revenue news coming out. So I, I'm assuming... That is going to be, I'm assuming that news is going to be uh, good. I mean, if, you know, sales, it's a fact that sales are, year on year, sales are going up, right? Year on year. If you look at it week on week or month on month, you're going to get ups and downs, you know? One month might look... Um, you know, like weaker than another month, and you might conclude that sales are not increasing, but they are increasing, guys, year on year. You know, you've got to pan out a bit with these kind of um, stocks. You've got to pan out and look at the bigger picture. And uh, also, you know, the fireflies coming out. So it's diamond hands, guys. It's diamond hands for me anyway. I don't know about you. If you're offloading some, maybe you bought some at four, four, four thirty-three. dropped to, didn't it? Something like that. Maybe you sold some for a little bit of profit. But for me, it's diamond hands. You know, I could have bought, like, I could, I could have sold a few times, you know, when I was holding... As you know, it was high. It was 550. I could have bought a few times. I mean, I could have sold a few times, made profit, etc. But I've been holding. And I bought more on the other account. As you know, so it's diamond hands, guys. For me, anyway. I don't know about you. But it's good news, I think, moving forward. Obviously, Neo stock got bashed down recently, as you know. With all talk of tariffs, fear, fear mongering, and also um, um, 
people's attention, you know, went off of NEO and onto crypto and onto other stocks. Let's just look at Tesla stock while we're here. Just look at the Tesla stock chart. Uh, what we on the one day chart? Well, you can see like it rose to Tesla chart 350. We're on the one day chart of Tesla. You can see it rose to 358, but then it went all the way down to 309 and it's gone back up, went back up to 348. And now it's like 337. But it, long term, Tesla it can't hold up. It's had its run. Let's go back to Neo. The only way this is still pre market in Neo. The only way Tesla can stay up, go a lot higher, is partnering with like likes of Neo stock. You know, because otherwise, look, Neo as a company are expanding. They've gone already. They've got a deal with Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan's got over ten million people population, and they've uh, adopted the green, you know, the EV. The EV guys, they've adopted EV and um, uh, Neo have partnered with Green, um, the Green Car Company. And um, they're going to get a lot of sales there. They're going to get a lot of sales, guys. I don't know how many sales, but I should imagine they'll get at least, what, 50,000, you know, sales just in the first instance. Like, but then next, you know, within three years, four years, they'll probably get 70, 70, 80,000. I'm just guessing. I'm, just, I'm guessing, right? That's just in Azerbaijan. But diamond hands all the way, guys, because I think I got, I don't know. I don't know if they're already in Iran and India. I've got a feeling, guys, that this, they, their, their strategy is expanding that kind of that direction you know iran is a it could be a big market and then you've got india huge market guys huge market they've got a population similar to china something like 1.5 billion or whatever so guys like you know neo long term would it want to go to the us of course it would but is it worried no like you know Neo uh, par partnering, they're partnering, right? Look, Neo cars could end up going into the US if they partner with, um, you know, suppliers, dealerships, etc. All this talk about tariffs is only ultimately going to hurt the US, the US economy, right? And people at the top are getting richer. You know, Elon Musk, etc. You don't care about the people at the bottom. None of them do, right? That's why they talk about tariffs because they want to hold up their own companies and make money their own companies. And then when their own companies, you know, when they're not doing so well, what do they do? They pump their money into stocks like Neo to make money, to make more money because they know they're going to ride the wave of Neo going up. So, guys, like, you know, diamond hands all the way if you're a Neo holder. Like, do what you want. But for me, it's diamond hands, guys. Diamond hands. I'm a diamond, uh, Neo diamond hands holder. <laughs> so, guys, like, you know, not financial advice. But you see it's heading back up. It's recovered. And it's not fully recovered. I'd like to see it in, like, you know, 520, 520 range. And obviously boost up from there based on revenues. I like to see it hit like eight dollars based on revenues. If not the revenues, then the firefly just towards the end of the year. I like to see it boost to about eight, maybe nine dollars and not come down lower than six before the next move up, guys. My opinion. That's what I'd like that's what I'd like to see with Neo uh stock. And I'm just gonna put it on the four hour chart. Neo stop there, and you can see like it's made a huge move from where it got bashed down 
as you know, got bashed down to $4.33. And that was kind of like, not really, you know, based on events. That no one could foresee that, you know, kind of like what, 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 you know, what happened, how it got hit, you know. But look, guys, it's recovering. That's the main thing. Ultimately, long term, is bullish. Neo stocks bullish. It don't get held down by politics, right? Because it's expanding in, into other countries. It's not getting held down into US politics, politicking, dirty politics, etc. And the dirty politics on all sides. But it's not going to get held down by this manipulation, guys. So diamond hands, neo stock all the way up. My opinion, guys. I don't know what you're going to do. But I think, you know, I don't want to be left out. You know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be selling my stock for a little bit of profit. And then seeing that, you know, the stock goes higher and higher. And then they can't come back down. So I can't get back in. I don't want to be in that situation. So I'm holding on to my shares in NEO stock. Because, you know, let's say it goes up to $8, $8.5. Let's say I was to sell, say, say half my NEO, thinking, oh, yeah, 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 it's going to come back down. Don't worry, I'll pick up again at $4, $4.50, $4.30, whatever. And it doesn't. Let's say it goes down to $6, $6.50. And then pushes up then to you know twelve fifteen dollars, then I've lost that, haven't I? I've got I can't get in again. I can't get in, you know, can't get there at that cheap price like it is now. Really, it is cheap now. That's what I've in this account. It's more or less sitting on my average, so that's why I'm holding, guys. You know, um, for the long term, diamond hands all the way, guys. But obviously, not financial advice, you do what you want to do. But don't forget, you've got the revenues coming out, right? And the Firefly. I think the Firefly is going to be a game changer. I think it's going to be a game changer, you know. Um, ultimately, in my opinion, the Firefly sales, you know, sales-wise, it should be huge. Um, but I think... I think they're heading up. I think sales are heading up. You know, the Neo sales are heading up. You've got Onvo sales heading up. The Firefly, when it comes out, it's going to be a game changer. Weekly sales, monthly sales. I mean, at the moment, you've got something like 5,000 sales plus weekly, weekly combined. You know, so it's diamond hands, guys. When the firefly comes out, that's going to be 10, probably 10, 15,000 weekly. Because you're going to get other models come out as well to back that up. So it's all going to be good, I think, long term, my opinion, for Neo stock. And, um, yeah, we just have to wait um, for the revenues. It's only, it's only one day now, guys. Uh, one one day, um, but I, I think I think Revy, I think the sales will go a lot more, a lot higher. I think they'll go a lot higher. They could go, you know, seven eight thousand. Who knows for the Onvo? Um, but we will have to just wait and see. But it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge long term, in my opinion. All the big money is. In my opinion, all the big money will come rushing into NEO. Especially those profit takers and crypto and, 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 and Tesla and stocks like that. And semiconductor stocks. All the big money will come rushing in. So I'll probably, um, you know, my last call, one of my last calls, I said in this week up to Friday, 22nd, Possibly we get another spike. I said one of my last videos going back could even come true. But even if it doesn't, I've still got over ninety percent success rate and calling it right, as you know. But it's looking good, guys. Overall, um, 
So not, you know, not financial advice, just diamond hands for me. If you're diamond hands as well, let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are and, you know, and also what's your average. Let me know what your average is, how many shares you got and what your average is, if you don't mind sharing. So looking good, guys, looking good, you know, looking good. And don't forget, Neo stock, it's not even taken off yet. It's not even taken off. We've got a second moon landing to, you know, to look forward to guys going to the moon again second <laughs> second moon landing so guys like i'm gonna um gonna make a cup of coffee now guys and um yeah we're gonna look forward to the opening uh neo stock price opening soon